What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking UFL. We've been keeping our eye on UFL. We've streamed it, we've played it. I personally gave my opinions on it and I said that it was it was nowhere near going to be ready for launch. I, I just couldn't see it coming out in September. The game as of right now is still up on the PlayStation Network and on the Xbox Store. It's not on Steam as far as I know to pre-order, but it still says that it's coming on September 12th. And with this pre-order bonus, a starter pack for 15 quid, you were going to be able to get seven days early access, which meant that UFL was meant to originally launch in three days' time, this Thursday, right? But over on Twitter here, they have actually finally put up a new tweet and new information and a statement on UFL, right? So they say here, Dear community, we're ready to share the decision we've reached based on your feedback, and it is that they are going to be delaying UFL's release for another couple of months, right? The new release date is going to be December 5th, which is going to be, what, three months from now? We're excited for this date and are committed to making UFL a standout title in the football gaming world. It's important to highlight that the game is free to play and pl built as a game as a service product, which means UFL will have regular and meaningful updates both in core and meta once it's out. It'll be available on PS5 and Series SX. If you pre-order, you'll get early access, and early access will now start on November the 28th. So it is no longer early access on September 5th with a release of September 12th for worldwide. It is now going to be early access on November 28th with a worldwide release then of December 5th, right? So listen, I played I played the game, right? I'll be honest with you guys. Let me just get a couple of gameplays up there in the background, right? And just let's just have a chat about this. I'm not going to make this video long and I'm not going to absolutely completely dunk on the game. I actually enjoyed the first UFL beta, the open beta that we played. I thought that there was a lot of issues with it. I thought there was a lot of broken mechanics in it. I thought there were a lot of bugs. I thought that there was a lot of stuff that was like miles off. And I just could not understand when the second beta dropped. Not only was the second beta worse in my opinion, but also on top of that, they actually said that they were going to be bringing the game in September. And I was like, mind blown. I was like, there is no way that this game is ready for September. And I just felt like that if they were going to be dropping it the same day as EAFC and eFootball, or the same, within the same window that EAFC and eFootball uh, e 25 or the new eFootball updates just going to be eFootball v4.0 was going to be dropping. I genuinely could not see that being a good, a good idea, right? Because listen, Konami and eFootball have had a really easy run of it over the last year because they're a free-to-play title. So if you're not going to splunk out or, you know, like drop 70 quid on the core game of EAFC, you do have a free alternative, which is why eFootball has become so popular and why it's so successful financially. Regardless of your, opin your opinions, your misgivings, your pros and your cons of eFootball, I felt that with UFL, that while they were working on some good stuff, I felt like that there was still a long way to go. Is there going to be enough room between the release date in December compared to now? I don't know. Um, that remains to be seen. Obviously, with the release date that they have there, you are going to need to be patient with it. You are going to need to obviously understand, I suppose, that as a free-to-play game, they are now looking to get this game into like some sort of playable build, some sort of actual way that they're able to put out the game and monetize it, either by player retention to be able to build stuff within a gaming system or ecosystem, or if they're going to add different things with the skins. I've talked about that in the other video if you've been keeping up uh, to date with it, right? They say here that they've had 2 million participants have played the UFL betas, right? And they said that positive critiques, uh, constructive criticism, participation, feedback has all been valuable. But honestly, I do feel like that this, this could shift again. Honestly, I do feel like that this could shift again. As I said, there are some core fundamental aspects of the gameplay that you do start to see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. The passing, the shooting, the dribbling, all still need work. Like some of the stuff that you're seeing in here, the fact that you can block clubs, you can report people, if they're playing, you know, like if they're doing stuff with the connection or anything like that. I like all these aspects of it. The actual meta game itself, the off the pitch stuff, the presentation, the buying players, the grinding clubs, grinding squads, grinding players, the skins, all of that is positive. The way that you have objectives in game and out of game, that you can kind of play the game a lot of different ways. I do like that, but I just felt that the gameplay is always what it comes back to. And that's what keeps bringing me back to eFootball. Even with all the massive issues eFootball uh, 24 had and has, I still feel that eFootball in terms of the dribbling, the passing, the shooting, the build-up, when it plays and when it flows, even if that's two out of five games, if you have to go through the mud in three games and like your players are in quicksand, but those two games out of the five, they're probably enough what, what holds me back. I don't know what that says about me as a gamer, 
and it doesn't, I don't know, does it, does what that says about me as in actually just accepting that mediocrity in terms of like two out of your five games are going to be good. But I do feel that eFootball, when it does shine, it does shine fairly bright. And you can have a lot of crack with it once you get it out of your head that you are going to lose games no matter what. So I do feel as if UFL could be, you know, back again. It remains to be seen, right? But I do like the communication and I know that they think that they probably have a lot of work to do. But let's see where it lands, man. What are your thoughts on it? I mean, is UFL dead on arrival for you? Um, or what? Like, is it, are you going to keep an eye on it and give it a good chance? Let me know what you guys think. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back soon. Peace.